There's 300,000 people who work in the stake sector. It's about 13% of the national workforce. So there's great opportunities to employ disabled people. And when you think that nearly a fifth of all work age people identify with a disability, there's a huge pool of talent that we're not accessing. We've had some wonderful success stories with disabled people taking up jobs and being brilliant with them. I think as employers become more confident, um, we will see more of that. And I think it's really important that the state sector takes the lead and shows those examples to the public of New Zealand. Well, one in five of New Zealanders is, identifies as having a disability and so we are a, quite a large part of society and um, I guess we all know that diversity makes a richer workplace. I need people on my team that are adaptable, um, that show initiative, uh, that can think on their feet, um, and Maria is all of those things and more. With the assistive technology that Maria did need, she actually organised it herself through Workbridge, um, and we were just there to support her in whatever she, she needed. In terms of setting up the technology, it didn't take any longer than, than any other um, new staff member. I think it's good for business. If you have people with a range of perspectives and experience, that's not one dimensional. I think it just brings experiences and perspectives that others might not have. One, I'm a woman, I'm Māori, I've got a hearing disability, and I'm actually part of one of those different communities. So I bring their perspectives and experiences into policy and that can only be a good thing. In Karen's uh, instance, um, because she has a hearing um, disability, um, it's what does she need to be able to do her work. So we look at it from that point of view, and it's just like any other staff member as well, we make that assessment and we provide them support. Don't let your disability define you or don't let it be a barrier. If you have a dream job or, or a challenge that you want to achieve, go for it. It's worked out well for us. Um, Felicia's been a great yeah. asset to our office. We do work with a variety of cultures and people with special needs in our organisation, but having somebody with a disability actually there working with you gives you a lot more insight into how disability affects them. We had an intern, Chanel, that we got to know her and we had a job and we uh, ran the interview process. Uh, we interviewed uh, four applicants and Chanel, through that process, uh, was clearly the best applicant. She um, we did the interview questions really well. It was a um, unanimous decision of the panel of um, four of us that she was the best person for the job. In government we need to take leadership and certainly within the public leadership we need to be reflective of the community that we represent. I majored in accounting from my Bachelor of Business Studies um, from Massey University. I started as a customer services officer and now I'm a specialist investigator. And I think it's once you get over the initial um, barrier and as I said if people have an open mind you know the world's your oyster. I think the most important thing is everybody get to appreciate what everybody's got, you know. So if, if you have teams that are all the same, then there's no sort of special flavour about them. Whereas this team, we've got people with all sorts of ability and different backgrounds culturally, as well as um, you know, their own abilities and disabilities. I think that's really important to have that sort of mix, just like in real society. Diversity teaches people things, it teaches tolerance and patience and um, a, a different view of, of looking at things. I think um, Jill's insight and um, ability to empathise with our clients is um, really um, second to none really. She's got that experience and, and that insight of working with clients with serious injuries that she's able to bring to the team. What I hear wherever I go, whoever I talk to, people see having a job as an opportunity. They want to work and I believe it does give them greater choice and greater opportunities in life and absolutely the right to have a life like all New Zealanders.